I can make it to everything. Yeah. Nice, nice. <laughs> Oh, so this will be, uh, be interesting. We got a... Uh, oh, this is a quarters Robin. match, so this is before top eight. This is going to be... And everything today, guys, is best of three. All right, so we got Ruben. Uh, what the hell? What did I just say? Why did I say Ruben? I'm sorry. Ruben. <laughs> it's Ruben. Jewel versus Cindy. Jewel Jesus versus Christ. Cindy. Robin versus... Robin, Robin. Robin. That's what I meant to say. Ruben. Yeah, this is, yeah, Ruben. This is going to be uh, very campy. This is... Yeah, this is, uh, if you like long-winded matches. Yeah, this is going to go down to the wire every game. This is going to be a, butt, uh, a hand warmer for you guys that don't know, so it's not <laughs> going to be that long. But, um, yeah, okay. I mean, this is going to be like, this, if, buckle up, guys. <laughs> buckle up. I mean, it depends on the approach that Jewel is going to take. Jewel being, like, usually, you know, like a, a very um, approachy, Depending on the character that he plays against, but um, I mean, if you just look at what he's doing right now, the movement is where he yeah, really his, separates himself from every single Robin in the entire country. Yeah, in the world, man. Jewel's movement is crazy. I was I played him earlier today in bracket, and just the way that he moves around the moves around the platform is just kind of crazy. But yeah, I mean, it's it's gonna be. I feel like Sinji's gonna control the pace of the game. I mean, he he's obviously you know as a Pac-Man man. At what you have to do is just control the spacing, control what you're going to do. Something Rob Robin also likes to do, so it's, I think it's going to be up to Jewel to really push the aggression to really bring the match back into his favor. So, I mean, it's going to be an interesting set. It's going to be long. It's going to be... It's going to be... Yeah, it's going to be long. It's going to be one to really pay attention to. It's going to be a long one. This is, uh, this is not a match for the impatient. So if you're a fan of uh, high... High-paced combat, uh, turn off the stream. But don't turn off the stream, but <laughs> just be aware of what's coming, man. Oh, it's good to be back commentating. I'm excited. Yeah, this is going to be fun. This is going to be really um, interesting. Forgive me, guys. I'm rusty. You know, it's been a while since I've even looked at this game, let alone commentated. But we're good. We're good. We got two New York folk here. Yeah, this tournament has been mostly dominated New York, by New York, man. Okay. Especially the fact that, like, most of... 90% of the New York, like, uh, PR is here. We have like we have Ralphie, we have Jewel, we have Jen, Sinji, uh, Mr. E, Venya. But let's get into this, man. This is gonna be both these players sticking both, to the platforms right now. Both yeah. just kind of charging up what they do. So both throwing throwing stuff, keeping each other in disadvantage as best as they can. And once one of them is able to set up as best as they can, that's gonna be the, the most oh, of it. Oh, that was a interesting setup right there by Joel. So yeah, what, what we saw right there at that first 30 seconds is both of them just trying to feel each other out there. Like, oh, here you know he goes, what? he's playing basketball with the with the, uh, the projectiles. Beautiful patience right there. Sinji Almost was getting the all edge the way out there. there, yeah. All right, but here we go. So he's gonna start uh, sitting up at the ledge right now. He has a trampoline set. He's gonna usually try to set down the hydrant. You know, he's gonna um, set up at the ledge, you know, using the Galaxian. He's gonna start charging his neutral beat to get whatever projectile he wants to get. This is gonna be big damage Ooh. right here, yeah. Combo right there. Good tag. Nice. Phenomenal tag coming from Jewel. No punish on the upbeat, though. The L wind isn't going to go unpunished, and Jewel is back into the advantage, even though this is what Sinji wants to do. He wants to be in the corner. He likes being in the corner. He plays it as best as he can, and then he just, he just throws stuff at you. That's Pac-Man in a nutshell right there, baby. <laughs> I mean, again, sticking to the ledge, charging through. And what what's going to be the edge guard? No edge guard. Kind of just... Not letting Sinji back on stage because Sinji is in disadvantage and that forward are not going to take it. Stringing, wow. Stringing together arc fire and forward air. He can play with that. It's going to make make maybe think. Yeah, that Thoron was phenomenal. The fact that he had the um, the arc fire to cover the regular getup and the jump from the ledge and covering the roll with with the um, Thoron, excuse me. That was no, big. you're good. You're good. <laughs> So make sure you start to think, you know, Sinji had an early deficit here. Is he going to stick to the ledge? Is he going to try to push aggression a little more? Yeah. Well, Jula is obviously like, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? He's demonstrated that he's going to be able to cover this ledge with the art fire and these, the use of these aerials. Something I haven't seen from Robin, if, from a ton of Robin players, but Jewel is just so adept at using this character, man. And Jewel is so crisp with this movement. He's, oh, that might be it. No, 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 he's safe. He's safe. I didn't realize he had a jump. Oh. oh, okay, a little bit of impatience there by Jewel. That was weird, because, I mean, like, the regular getup, or uh, the getup attack actually didn't hit, like, invincible, like, invincible way, it's through, uh, wow, I have... You're good, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm right there with you. We're both rusty. We're both commentating a Robin versus Pac-Man set. Yeah. Do you know what to do? I don't. And we're already, like, four minutes in right now. That <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we're four minutes in. Both... <laughs> 
<laughs> Both players have taken one stock. Yeah, this is going to be a rough one. Majul has had the lead for most of this first game. And sticking to center stage now. Oh, he has an apple on deck. So let's see what he's going to do with this, because apple knowing known to have high knockback. And another beautiful take there by Jewel. And, he's and he has Thor on time. deck, too. There right. it is. Letting it go, just kind of... Trying to keep Sinji guessing. I don't think he anticipated hitting him with that, but he gets juggled there again. Still 50% of deficit here. Sinji reluctant to go in, still remaining patient. F tilt right there. It's such a brilliant move right there. Such a. Oh, that was a really good wave land back Ooh. to catch the L into the F smash. Oh, oh, and now we have a completely even game. And again, that's right there. Arc fire at the ledge. Sinji getting impatient again. And now Jewel with the Galaxian. We're, we're going to see what kind of combo he could come. Oh, he was trying to get really tricky right there. <laughs> No oh, tech no. on the on the hydrant. Yeah, but at 22%, you're good there. Yeah, so. especially with the recovery that Robin has. And we have Elwyn almost on the verge of being lost right now. And this is big damage coming from Sinji. Sinji going all the way off stage to try to get that edge guard, but nothing coming from it. And that's the second time that Sinji has gone down really low for that edge guard. The second time Jewel has effectively avoided a good shot by him getting back to the stage oh, with grab good there. Punish right there. Even though, you know, that move is relatively faster than it was back in Smash 4. I mean, now. You know, whiffing a grab in this game is kind of big. Oh, he had the roll read right there, so the F smash punish is gonna come out on the multi jab. He has no L wind right now, so it's a good. Oh, damn. damn, that was good. Second time, Bell into F smash right there. That was really good patience coming from Sinji, calling out the uh, just Jewel landing in front of him. You know, Jewel pressing forward, and then Sinji just you know holding back, catching him right and, there. But that was an extremely close game going down to about like. Three minutes, four, yeah. like three, <laughs> like two or three minutes. And despite Jewel having the advantage for most of that game, stock-wise, percentage-wise, Sinji finds a way to pull it out, man. Yeah, Sinji did find a way to pull it out. Bringing it all the way back into his clutches, even though the first stock was looking kind of like Jewel dominated, you know? But here we go, game two, running it back to uh, Pokemon Stadium. And much like game one, they're just sticking to the platforms right now. I stand corrected. Sinji going right back to the ledge. Establishing the Fire Hydra and then going right back to the ledge. Similar to what he did game one, he's going to stick with his game plan. Oh! That was clean. Throwing catch out there, looking like Bryce Harper. <laughs> oh, and he brought out the Mail Robin for game two? Yeah, this is a counter pick. <laughs> this, this is the Yomi, bro. This is the counter pick that he hit me with. Okay, back to the platforms here, just charging fruit. Your percentage here. They're just playing catch with these items right now. Yeah. They're both just kind of throwing ish at each other and just. They're both kind of catching stuff, you know? Yo, Robin is so slow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, at, look at this match right now, man. Robin is so slow. It's just, it's just a matter of who can effectively place that. Like right there. You saw he F smashed the Fire Hydra. It just went right over him. This yeah. match is going to come down to who can effectively place their items better. So far, it's been Jewel, but Sinji is the one with the one game advantage. And again, that Fire Hydra just to the... All right. Thunder. High level gameplay. Thunder. Cool. Thunder. We press the B button. Yeah, that's all we've been doing for so far this set. And again, Sinji just trying to set it set up these fire hydrants into these uh, combos like he did game one, but... Yeah, he's just trying to get these Galaxian combos as best as he can right now. He's just trying to... And here we go again with the Galaxian. I mean, up until like, you know, 80%, Sinji... Oh! Oh! That was pretty crispy. And that was the first real one he's gotten thus far. If it would have killed, I would have super popped off. That would have been crazy. That would have been nice. But that was a pretty crispy combo. But I now mean, he's got himself a little bit of a lead here. Again, three minutes in and not one and stock not, has been not taken. not a single stock has been taken. And both Ooh. of these players just kind of, oh, he was ready for that tickle. So many inter <laughs> so many interactions that I'm just not used to seeing in this Ooh, game. Just barely missed had, with that Yeah, F he almost had that F-Smash right there. Hell, Thunder. Just, I'll, Jewel allowing him to just charge, oh. and he gets caught with it again. That's the and third that's gonna time. that's going to take it. From the center stage at like 100. And it makes you think, if is Jewel starting to adjust? No, should he start adjusting to what he's doing? Cindy, that is the third time he's caught him with the bell into the F-Smash. And he's just letting him charge it. He's going to go oh, for it. Eric. He died. That's he, crazy. That was an incredible combo. What would Jules DI have been there? I don't know. Was that, was that in? I, I'm not sure. I can't tell you at all. Oh, my God. But yikes. 
Sinji kind of carrying him all the way across into the blast zone with that forward air. Oh my goodness. He died at like 40, man. That was yikes. And all of a sudden, this is a mountain to climb here for Jewel. What's he going to do here? Sin Sinji now in a position where oh, he can afford to stick oh, to the ledge. Oh, he lived. Oh, that oh Jewel really God. needed that, man. Trampoline back to center stage. Let's see what he does here. Again, just setting it up the fire. Hydrant again. That up to not going to take it just yet. 146 here. Unable to grab the apple, too. I think he tried Down to. There, not going to do it. And now he has no 11 sword. He's waiting for the 11 sword to come back. Jewel trying to get that snipe with the uh, unused sword. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go, Galaxian yet again, trying to get those low percent combos. That's what that's called. I was just thinking spaceship in my head. And again, Jewel. Oh, good parry into up smash. That was clean. But let's see what Jewel has to like amount to because this is a very, very hard. This is, this is gonna be a, yeah, this is gonna be a tough fight. This is a big deficit. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I don't know if he's got it. Already up to 109 on this last stock. Let's see what he does here. Uh, working without a jump here. Able to up be back to the stage. Oh, no punish. Sinji oh, opting, that was good. Sinji opting to go with uh, down air there oh, on the platform. Now he's getting a lot of damage back. You know, now it's actually, it's still very, like, out of reach. Kind of, you know, when, like, but, like. I mean, look what Jules doing right now. He, he just taunted. <laughs> he clearly has a game plan. He's going to stick with. I, it could just be like he's given up, but. I, I don't. I refuse to believe that. He's gonna remain patient. He's gonna stick to his game plan. I mean, I'm not sure what it is. Oh, oh he had the opportunity there. Though. He caught him with the arc fire, but didn't follow up with it. Since he's playing this stall game really well right now. I mean, he can afford to. He's at 78% on his on his second stock. Yeah. Might be a kill percentage if he's not careful. So, and he's. He is camping him out. We're down to two minutes on the I mean, that, that's the thing is, what else can Robin do in that situation oh, other than wait for him to land? And as fresh, and this is the situation we're talking about. This is all of a sudden very, very dangerous for Sinji. Jewel has his game plan, and he's sticking to it, and now he's brought it back to last stock. Oh, again oh, with the belt. It, yeah. Oh, Ooh, careful there. Oh. oh, no. Jewel thought he still had a jump, and that is going to be the game. Good stuff to Jewel for bringing it back. Yeah, he a three stock to one uh, situation. Deficit. A three stock to one deficit situation. But Yo, that second stock from Sinji though yeah, was yeah, Sinji was nice. on it. That that fair train into the all the way into the blast zone, and him still making it back was actually kind of crazy. And that's it. That's man. that's what was like super OD about that combo. Like, yeah, yeah. And the fact that he died at like forty. That. Yikes! Once it, I, I I could tell like once he got the first one like he's got a double jump, he's gonna he's yeah, just gonna he's roll going with, out he's there. Just gonna he roll is, because I thought he was just gonna die. I thought he was just gonna go off with him. Yeah. And then he decided to be back. He to made stage. it back. Ah uh, yeah yeah. Pac-Man's recovery OP. <laughs> but what I mentioned before and what I wanted to talk about is um, Jules' movement. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't. I hate to use this term, but he wasn't moving. He wasn't really. He wasn't really. You could tell he, he was wasn't focused Chris more. On neutral, he is more focused on the neutral on getting his advantage set up because, like, exactly. especially playing against Sinji, you know, you're in it for the long haul. Yeah. So, 